So, hi, I'm Subramanian with uh, Durga Software Solutions in Hyderabad. Durga Software Solutions is uh, one of the pioneering organizations or institutions in India to facilitate uh, soft skills program, soft skills training for freshers, those who are aspiring to get into the corporate jobs. He, Durga Software Solutions is providing greatest expertise, faculty tips and greatest insights and expertise to help the many needy students, those are planning to get into corporate parlance. In the process of improving soft skills, today we are going to talk about these jam sessions. Jam sessions means, what is that jam? J A M. Let us see. J A M stands for just a minute, just a minute, just a minute topics. In one of the, it is one of the recruitment uh, process in the campus or off campus interviews whether we working for campus interviews or even off campus also jam session is one of the uh, difficult task for many freshers today why it is uh, so difficult because this is uh, like uh, we need to speak instantly spontaneously on given topic for one minute two minutes even though the name speaks about only a minute but sometimes the recruiters expect us to speak for long time, for two minutes, three minutes, only to evaluate our fluency, language proficiency and your communication skills. Why it is so important for uh, recruiters? Because when you are talking to these clients and customers over the phone in your workplace, you need to speak spontaneously, you need to be more um, voracious, you need to be more verbalized. If you are not good at expressing your ideas spontaneously, the client will feel that I am not working with the uh, right customer or client. So, you are going to carry your brand in front of your customers. Whenever you are working for any organization, if you are not able to express your project details, if you are not able to explain what you are doing in front of the customers, absolutely you are losing the brand image of your organization. So that the company HR people are so serious about your fluency, your language proficiency, your confidence level, the um, correct way of uh, speaking according to English syntaxes. They always look for these uh, four to five parameters in your jam sessions. Number one is your confidence level, number two, language proficiency, number three, presentation ability, number four, communication ability, number five, your professional uses of language. So, th this is the reason why for many non-native speakers of English like Telugu, Hindi, other uh, uh, language except English, for these people it is really nightmare. Nightmare means it's a horrible or um, difficult task but if you follow few techniques if you follow some etiquettes it becomes so easy to speak for one minute or two minutes or three minutes even ten minutes also even though jam is meant for one minute what are those etiquettes or do's and don'ts of jam let us discuss about this Etiquettes of. Etiquettes means manners of. Manners are manners are etiquettes of jam. What to do and what not to do. This these are the called like etiquettes are manners of jam. So the major etiquettes of uh, jam, like number one is jam session etiquettes uh, the first one is do's and second one is don'ts if we follow these do's and don'ts 
it is not a big deal for us to make our speech eloquent make our speech more impressive in our jam session process so what is the number one technique or tip we need to know while presenting our jam the moment we are asked to speak the number one point is the moment the interviewer asks us to speak first greet the interview panel or greet gd i mean um, the the person who is uh, asking you the topic yes sir definitely i'm uh, i i feel so happy to speak about this uh, topic before talking your topic many people rush up to speak about the topic we before uh, even uh, greeting the interviewer if the interviewer ask you can you speak something about uh, the impact of movies on youth you want me to speak about uh, the impact of uh, youth uh, impact of the movies on youth sir definitely i feel so great i feel uh, really blessed to speak on this topic because i have got uh, many influences by watching the movies by movies so likewise you can start and relate with your personal experiences when you are talking about any jam session topic it fetches a lot you know it, it uh, uh, obviously connects the interviewer it is not about what you are speaking it is about how you are speaking matters most in the jam sessions how pleasantly how comfortably how confidently are you clear so the confidence the clarity the co uh, communication matters most mm, when you are giving speech in jam session next important point is in jam sessions speak as slow as possible rather than giving like a presentation public speaking public speaking presentation is these are all different than different uh, from this jam session so explain completely in detail slowly by connecting your personal professional and social um, real life situations this is how you need to present yourself and one more um, important point while presenting jam session mm. organize your thoughts in such a way that you don't discontinue your speech organize your mind in such a way that you should connect one sentence to another sentence by adding conjunctions and prepositions and other uh, grammatical uh, functions when you are speaking something about for example talk about your native place when you are asked to speak about your native place you think about that what to speak in uh, net about your native place so what are the areas what are the things what are the people what are the uh, crucial components to be covered if we can really plan if we can really organize you will celebrate speaking us together you can speak even an hour that is how you need to organize your thoughts and and the last important point is always use professional way of professional usage of english professional usage of english that is very important even if it is a, a casual uh, talk also jam session casual talk but it is not casual it is a formal uh, talk formal presentation so always go with your professional formal polite way of usage for instance let me give you my personal experience with uh, many students across uh, all engineering colleges across india how the people start speaking if the student is asked to speak uh, talk about your college you want me to speak about college what to speak about this college sir i have been studying in this college for 4 years no facilities no tra good trainers no uh, infrastructure no uh, food facility no hygienic um, um, water food toilets washrooms this kind of things people start speaking this is so embarrassing to the interviewer so whenever you are asked to speak something don't add your personal uh, emotions to the topic be gentle be professional be polite and be formal in your presentation 
then you can make your jam session topic more rich energetic exhilarating experience even interviewer will feel like listening to you for minutes together until he ask you to stop you can continue these are the four basic success mantras in uh, presenting jam session next important uh, one is don'ts more than do's we need to follow this don'ts why don'ts are so important than do's because sometimes we do good things but when it comes to don'ts we ignore them even though they are very important they seem to be little they seem to be simple but they make a huge difference in our presentation next number 1 here don't don't jump into the conclusion when the interviewer ask uh, talk about your uh, favorite color people say my favorite color is uh, uh, blue and people stop talking about that it is not only one single line sentence or one single line um, presentation jam session is 1 minute minimum presentation so uh, if the interviewer ask this uh, can you speak about your favorite uh, color if i say my favorite color is blue you know that uh, my uh, why i have chosen this uh, blue color this is a most auspicious one than any other colors it gels with it gives uh, um, i mean peace of mind to the people the moment we look at this uh, blue color it uh, really reflects our mind and it speaks lot many things you just get connected with those uh, color and speak about your personal experience how you love when did you start uh, loving this color all these things it is not like one line answer even some uh, interviews it happened can it what is your favorite dish can you speak something about that people started saying that my favorite dish is chicken biryani then you should speak something how to prepare it you need to invite the interviewer to your kitchen room and then uh, let him experience the smell the fragrance of that uh, uh, area you need to make him to visualize imagine and uh, um, enjoy in his mind that kind of exhilarating experience you should provide while presenting your jam session jam topics presentation next another important one don't stop abruptly when you when you are giving any jam session if you stop abruptly what happens it it doesn't sound professional it sounds so odd it doesn't give any good experience to the interviewer so sir uh, this is all about my uh, favorite topic and even if you permit me to speak i will continue even speaking for half an hour then the interviewer will laugh at you no 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 i want only you to check i want only to check your fluency rather than the content right so like that don't un- uh, close your jam session topic or presentation abruptly all of a sudden abruptly means all of a sudden don't rush up don't drag or don't use this technical jargon which is not easily understood by the interviewer if you use it the interviewer may not feel good about your vocabulary you can use simple very easy vocabulary which is easily understood by your interviewer right next the last important um, jam session uh, presentation is don't greet your audience don't greet your friends when you are giving present jam session topic in a uh, classroom if you are giving the jam session in uh, in front of the interviewer when you are taking interview then ne- no need to greet 
you directly get in thank you sir thanks for asking me this uh, uh, topic i'm so blessed i feel uh, very happy to speak about this one you start commencing speaking about your topic rather than greeting good morning sir good morning friends like that because we are so habituated we are so used to speak and practice that uh, kind of practice in the classrooms but not in the interviews in the interviews directly say start saying that it is so pleasure for me to speak about this one so always do this always follow these uh, do's and don'ts you will make your jam session experience like a exhilarating lasting impression on the minds of the interviewer then he may select you easily are you clear with this one now we are going to talk about this what are the top jam session topics hot topics favorite topics for many interviewers many topics are there for uh, uh, hot topics and favorite topics and um, important topics for uh, interviews number one i can say let me uh, write few of them how to speak how to present them also it is not about uh, knowing the topic it is about presenting the topic matters most many people get sacked in a jam session because they don't know how to present it number one topic for recruiters hot topic is talk about your favorite favorite hobby number two your role model talk about your favorite sports person favorite sports person and another hot topic for many uh, um, interviewers most unforgettable moment most unforgettable moment most unforgettable moment in life next your favorite holiday spot favorite holiday spot these are top 5 in terms of priority but there are almost more 40 to 50 topics are there i will also mention those topics once i explain how to speak these kind of topics if they ask us a favorite hobby why do they ask this a uh, favorite hobby because when you are mentioning your hobbies obviously they ask what are your favorite hobbies you can say if you say uh, according to your resume details my favorite uh, hobbies are uh, watching tv and playing cricket most probable question they ask favorite hobby and uh, how much time do you, if they ask you my you can talk about one favorite hobbies out of two for example watching cricket or else playing cricket or watching movies so wh- what kind of movies do you watch how often do you go to movies whom do you go to movies where do you watch do you watch on tv or do you watch uh, in theaters how often do you go weekly ones monthly ones yearly ones which kind of uh, movies do you watch who is your favorite uh, film personality so what is your recent movie you can explain all these things in a systematic organized manner not like i watch movies and then uh, simply uh, uh, in ambiguous manner if you give unclear expectations unclear explanations then it doesn't fetch any anything to you even to the interviewer rather you can say uh, one hobby you never ever give two to three hobbies at once if you are asked to speak about your favorite hobby the question itself favorite hobby not two to three hobbies next role model when you are asked to speak something about role model speak about your nearest and dearest ones who is your really most influential person in your 
family member or in your nearest and dearest relatives who influenced you a lot, who impacted you a lot. Because speaking about your role model, who is from nearest and dearest ones or family from your family ones, this is very easy than speaking about uh, celebrities, talking about your uh, um, political leaders or scientists. Why? Because if you speak something about, for instance, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam sir, if you speak something about Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, late Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam sir, then if you make any mistakes, interviewer will immediately find out the mistakes because he knows better than us. For instance, if you speak, if you start speaking about uh, uh, Sachin Tendulkar, sometimes you may not know much about Sachin Tendulkar, but interviewer knows him very well. So, most of the times we may make mistakes when we talk about celebrities or historical people or politicians or national uh, freedom fighters like Gandhiji, Nehru like that. So, better you avoid them uh, speaking about them, you start talking about your father. Sir, my role, bar, role model is my father. My father is uh, so supportive. My father is uh, really always uh, encouraging me in terms of my studies, my uh, extracurricular activities. Whatever I do, my father does help me a lot. Um, uh, and he does homework, he does any work so diligently in such a way that nobody should say that this is not good, this is not appropriate, this is not right according to uh, their work. So, you give more and more adjectives, more and more description about your father and what are the qualities you imbibed from him, from his character. That is very important. It is not just talking about your role model. When you are saying that my role model is Mother Teresa, so what kind of qualities you learned from Mother Teresa? That is very important. Not talking about Mother Teresa, not talking about Chiru, not talking about Pawan Kalyan. When you talk about Pawan Kalyan, what are the qualities you learned from him? If you say your role model is uh, Pawan Kalyan, Pawan Star. So, like that, whenever you are talking about uh, your role model, you talk about the qualities, characteristics and values you imbibe by observing him. Right. Now, this is how, if you start speaking like that, you can speak, strengthen your, uh, uh, stretch your speech for even 10 minutes also. Even though they are asking you to speak for a minute. Next, favorite sports personality. So, who you really follow? Whom do you adore? Whom do you respect? Whom do you really watch on a regular basis? You can speak about like that. Not like just randomly Dhoni. My favorite uh, sports person is uh, Dhoni or some uh, Sachin Tendulkar or any other person. So, choose the best, your favorite sports person and then speak. M most unforgettable moment in your life. This is where most of the people make mistakes. Most unforgettable moment in your life, you can start speaking like this. Your happy moment. But most students, freshers, they tend to make mistake choosing uh, emotional moment, sad moment. No sad moment. Unforgettable moment could be positive and negative, but choose only positive moment because it gives vibrations, it uh, gives uh, um, aura to the your interviewer and other people, the, those are listening to you. So, my most unforgettable moment, it happens sir, in my college days when I went to this uh, uh, summer vacation uh, along with my friends to Goa, we celebrated that journey like anything. We enjoyed every moment, you know, while traveling also, we had a uh, uh, very hilarious, uh, funny dance programs, uh, uh, singing competitions and we can, we had uh, even, uh, what is that, uh, Antyakshari. Uh, song Santyakshari, dance Santyakshari, yeah, however you explain uh, jovial uh, experiences, jolly moments, happy moments, jubilation, all these things you can talk about in your most unforgettable moment in your life rather than talking about sad moment. But if they ask you particularly most embarrassing situation in your life, then you can talk about Low, lower, severe, not too much like my grandfather kicked the bucket, my ma um, grandmother uh, died, no, 
even in that case also you speak only uh, sad moment like sir when I was uh, studying uh, SSC I prepared so very well but somehow I could not score uh, to the expectations of my parents, my teachers, my uh, friends. I felt so embarrassed and from then onwards I started uh, reading a lot and I could make my mark in my studies from intermediate onwards. Till now I didn't relax. So I started getting every time first class. So that was most embarrassing situation in my life. I never uh, experienced so far now like that. Favorite holiday spot. So my favorite holiday spot is like uh, uh, Uti. If you say that one single statement doesn't fetch a lot to the interview board. So you speak about the environment there, Uti, how it is uh, really famous in Na South India and how far it is from your place, how many people you went along with, how, how long uh, you, did you stay there, uh, how did you reach there, what was the mode of your traveling, everything you put like that. That is called organizing your thoughts, organizing your speech while talking. If you keep that viewpoints, what are the points to be spoken, then it becomes to, so easy to present your jam session, not one minute. If they ask you one minute, you can give ten minutes. The interviewer will feel, will feel so excited and this person is so nice and, and he has a wonderful uh, uh, gift of gab. Gift of gab means fluency. So obviously, you will be selected in the first round of your interview. These are the most favorite uh, topics and hot topics for interviewer. Apart from this, many topics are there like your native place, talk about your native place, talk about your favorite politician, talk about your favorite color, talk about your favorite dish, talk about your favorite uh, beverage. Beverage means not only uh, hot drinks, you can talk about your soft drinks like uh, uh, Coca-Cola, Maza, Thumbs Up like that and talk about your uh, Impact of social networking sites and society on youth, favorite holiday, uh, favorite uh, uh, movie which you have seen recently, favorite actress, favorite act actor, talk about your um, even favorite book, talk about your favorite teacher, favorite lecturer, talk about your dream house you would like to live in uh, future. Talk about your dream job you would like to do. Talk about your dream role in your life which you want to play. Talk about your dream company you would like to work with. Talk about uh, this room. Talk about this pen. Any topic, any table topic could be jam session topics. They are um, boundless, infinite. There is an infinite uh, topics are there. It is not like only uh, jump session topics should be only confined to one section, one area like that. Corruption in India, ter international terrorism, poverty, child labor, women empowerment, girls education in India, education system in India, political system in India, mobiles and impact, mobiles and their impact on youth today technology and its uh, effects about internet about computer what not they can ask any topic but you must be well prepared to present your topic like that so are you all clear when you prepare this jam session topics choose like a uh, hundred topics like this google them in the internet then you will get to know um, five to ten uh, viewpoints, discussion points or sentences, then it becomes so easy to frame your ideas on the topics. When the interviewer is asking jam session topic, you need not to worry about that because Google is there, always with you. If you have a smartphone, it is there always Google, smartphone with the internet connection, basic 2G internet connection, not 4G, even 2G is also enough to Google this information. So, always use internet, always use this uh, Google for uh, uh, the information related to the jam session topics. You will rock, you will speak, you will uh, um, get success so easily in jam session. So, I hope you carry forward these uh, techniques and improve your chances of getting selected in the jam session um, 
selection process. I wish you all the very best. Good luck to you. Thank you.